Jesus Christ. Nostalgic. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? Two seconds, man. I need to lower the volume quite a bit. I'm not sure how far I should go, but fuck it. I'm sure it'll be all good and stuff. We'll make the movies a bit higher, the sound effects down there, and music a bit lower. Alright, hey, yeah, that does it. Hi, welcome to Grim Fandango Remastered. This is one of my childhood games. Just seeing that Lucas Arts at the beginning, that's. <laughs> Nostalgic man. Um, whoa, yeah. I wanted to play this a long time ago, actually. Um, just around the time when this came out, which is a year or two ago or something. I don't know. Um, I was figuring out because I still had it on a disc, which didn't work. Just plucking it in, it was it was too old. Uh, so I had to get DOS box or whatever. I don't know. I, I took me days and weeks, and finally I, I found out how to make it work. I, I made it freaking work, the old game. And right as I did that, they were like, "Hey, now there's a remastered version of Grim Fandango. Buy it now." What? I just I just made it work after so long. Um. So I had to get the remaster version, which I did quite a long time ago. But I just never got around to playing it. I don't know why. And today, I felt like I need something new to play. Or something else. or something. I need to start 
a new game. Some story, whatever game. I know I have Undertale going on. I'll try not to forget about Undertale as I'm playing Grim Fandango. I can't promise anything. Um, I still want to play Undertale. and I mean, Undertale's going to be a long game, so there's no way I'm going to do that just on its own. Because I was just told in the last video that it's going to be like 10 or 11 hours left. And that is insane, okay? If I do 20, 30 minutes per episode, that's a lot of fucking episodes. So, that'll be sort of a sight thing I do every now and then. I can keep going. Hopefully. Anyway, we're going to play Grim Fandango Childhood Game. I finished it once, I think. I was really young, and I tried to play it again when I was slightly older. I never understood what was going on. I didn't understand English. Um, I only sort of remember the beginning here. And I remember you have to do something to this thingy thing here. Do I click enter? I do. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from Office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads! Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars! We have a mass poisoning on our hands! Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve! So let's see some hustle out there! Whatever you say, Iffy. Iffy? I totally did not remember that you speak like this, though. That's weird. But then again, I didn't understand you, so... Uh, well... Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Hmm. And, uh, he will look at things, like when you walk by here. He's looking down at shit you can interact with. Uh, what else can we do? Inventory. That is inventory. You can go to the side. Examine side, things. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Select it, and he will poof it out. That is impressive. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I know. I think you can. You can put it back. Uh, cancel. Alright. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. How do I... I don't feel like pitching cards right now. No, but... Do I really have to click the inventory and do... Yeah, okay, fuck it. It goes quick, I guess. Um... Hey, let's get going then. I I will probably have to look up a lot of, of, of walkthroughs. Um, <laughs> I don't know. This game does not automatically save. Please save in the pause menu to avoid losing progress. So we do this and this. And that's it. Okay, we can do that. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, not a bad idea. Well, you, you got that note about shit, and, and... It's some sort of special work order. Yeah, it's first come, first serve. You're gonna get yourself a good client and make a lot of money. You can get the fuck out of here. You can run. That's, that's cool. Is the boss's office, I guess. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Mm, figures. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Uh. What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? No, I did read them. I, I heard. That's why I'm going. I literally just got the fucking memo. Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. <laughs> uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? <laughs> uh, 
No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel? Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Yeah. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that <laughs> sounded more like four messages to me. Well. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Yeah, okay. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. I will. You bet I'll show those bricks a lesson. Uh. Yeah. So... What's the, is the sound like? I'm I'm scared. It's not low enough. I don't know. That's probably fine. What's this? That's an elevator. What's this? That's also an elevator. Uh. Okay. Right. Whoa. Okay. The, the walking it. Could you not? Wait, what? Whoa, that is such a weird camera angle. You make it look like I'm going... Uh, well, whatever. Well, we'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> it's locked. Uh, that's a shame. Uh, anything here? It's locked. It's locked. Yeah, of course it is. So in the beginning, I probably won't cut around that much. Because the game is all new and shit. But eventually, when I have to walk around forwards and backwards between shit we already know to try and find out what we have to do, then yeah, I'll probably... We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Hmm. Then probably I'll start editing a bit more and cutting around. I remember this. Look at these graphics, man. Are those pigeons on the roofs? <laughs> wow. Hey, dude. So I do remember you giving me something. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? All right. Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Uh, I actually remember this. I'm, in, I'm impressed that I understood that I was telling him to do different things with the balloon. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. 
I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead, name one. I, I, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do these for now. But this is what, yeah, okay. Okay, a cat. <laughs> no problem. Ta da! That was hella fast. Some more. Of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? That's a fine cat. Uh, just, just put that cat away. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? How about a dingo? A dingo? That's my specialty. How'd you get teeth in that thing? Well, that's really good though. There's probably an easier way to just put it in your pockets and but, but yeah, whatever. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez, what now? Let's try Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! This dude was Gar. It's, it's a pipe, I mean. That's cool. But let's get what we actually need to get. And maybe ask you about this stuff. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? Bang. Bang! Ah! Popped another one. Lousy, bony fingers. Could you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow. Hmm. <laughs> that was a good one. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? He wants a dead worm. A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. <laughs> Lousy bony fingers. Achievement. Anyway, uh, yeah, put it away for now. No, don't, no, 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 no. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Yeah, me too. Didn't you, you look Since here. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. It's a nice piece of bread. Anything in this, uh... They're just full of party favors. And I'm not in the party mood. You want more bread? I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. I'm not sure why we're taking so much bread, but... Sure, we'll find a use for it. No. All right. Well, let's go into this alleyway. Then. It's really creepy looking. Hello. Why is that eye blue? Hello. You want to hold up something? I don't really remember much at all anymore. I remember I needed the dead worm. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, dead worm. I don't got the lungs for it. I don't got the lungs for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Um. Looks like we can. Oh, oh, oh.
Climby, climby. Looks dangerous. I'd love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Not now, Eva. It'll have to wait. I'm in the middle of a very important meeting. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Ah, uh, cripes. Eva, just sign it yourself, will ya? I'm busy. Eva, please, I need a little time. Tell Shay, hear you. I'm on the phone. If you bust me again, I swear I'll jump. Out. I'll just change his auto response here. Are you trying to lose your job? Uh. If, mm, what, what? Tell them the checks aren't here yet. If you bust me, I swell your mind's window. I need a little more time. Uh. Ah, oh, great, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! I feel like that's a good one. He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. <laughs> oh, really? No, are you gonna walk all the- No, no, stop. You can stop. You cancel. Cancel. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> you can't cancel your action. He just walks all the way. What's in there? If I go out that way, everyone will know I was snooping around in here. Touche. I didn't know that was the exit. I thought it was over here. Eh. Alright. Well, let's uh, leave again, I guess. I don't know if that was the right. Can I? I can go this way. But there's nothing over here. Okay, we'll go back down again. Duh. <laughs> <Right>. <sighs> yeah, this is a thingy thing that you can go down. And this can open it somehow. You gotta use something. I figured one of these, one of these balloons would do. No, <laughs> I can't possibly imagine why that's not working. Right, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. Right now, I do have an idea. Actually, is anything this way? Highway. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. Alright, okay, man. I get it, man. Let's try just about the only thing that I sort of remember. I'm not sure it's exactly what you have to do. What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. Totally. <sighs> okay, I remember some stuff about this thing. I feel like I had to put Brett in there. 
Look out below. Yeah, I don't think that did much. I remember something about this. That's not what balloons are for. But we have to fill it with something, right? It's got to do with the bread. I probably should not have put that in there. Now we just need to get more bread. Well, shit. Right, what the fuck can I do? Why do I have these? Well, because I asked for them, but... <laughs> not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Sure. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Let's try this elevator. Bye. It's time to meet my driver. He's awesome, as far as I remember. It's locked. Hey, who the who's messing with my stuff? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Calavera. Nice hut. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Hmm. So that I don't get to the poisoning, huh? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! <laughs> No, 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 no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Hmm. Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire. To drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. You wanna be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh <laughs> no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm. I'm. I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. And now, 
it makes sense what I did with the answering machine, or whatever the fuck you want to call that thing. Now it's gonna tell Eve, or Eva, or whatever the fuck, the bitch, the secretary, I guess, that she should just sign the shit herself. So when I give her this thing, she's gonna call the boss, he's gonna be like, I'm too busy, just sign it yourself, and she's gonna sign it. Uh, can I... That's the angle I want. If I really need the boss to sign this work order, I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Zeva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. <laughs> You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ah, uh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Fuck. 